Hello everybody, welcome to another reading. Today we are going to get some messages for Pisces. This is for all Pisces placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars. If you have Pisces prominent in your chart, there are probably messages for you in this reading. This is also a timeless video, so whenever you happen to come across, or this is a timeless reading, so whenever you happen to come across the video is when you were meant to hear these messages. Um, we're going to be using just the regular old Rider Wear Rider Weight Tarot deck today. I can't say words. Um, and then I do have some pre-shuffled oracle cards as well. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, the link to that will be listed in the description box below. Also, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the information to personal readings along with my email will also be listed in the description box below. Uh, that's all that I have. Let's get into this. I hope that you're doing really well today, Pisces. I am doing fabulous. If you were watching this at the time of the upload, then happy new moon. It is a new moon in Taurus. Yeah, we have a lot of, uh, I feel like every planet is in Taurus right now. <laughs> we, I know that's not accurate, but still, it, there's a lot. Um, there's like a name for it too. Um, like all of the planets being in, in one sign like this, there's a name for it. And I don't know what it is on the top of my head, but yeah. Okay, one more shuffle. That was a good shuffle. Satisfying. All right. Okay. Messages for Pisces, please. The hanged man. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, or you could have Virgo in your chart. Okay. We have the tower. There's the hanged man. And the tower. And the high priestess in the reverse. Um, we're going to stop here because we literally just had three major arc arcanas come out. And the high priestess, which is Pisces, is in reverse. Um, so what is going on, Pisces? Uh... We need some clarification for sure. Um, Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And that's followed by the Six of Cups and the Five of Wands and the Moon. Okay, so are you like, okay, let's just, uh, some of you, I feel like you might be holding on to something. Um, this could be like a past thing. It could be like a past connection or like childhood traumas or childhood stuff or just things that you're not letting go of um there's it could be because there's like a new perspective that needs to be obtained there could be a lot of fighting and disagreements around you um there could be like a like you could feel like a need to just like i don't even see this as like defending anything this is more just like everybody's just fighting they're just like all just like fighting with each other nobody's even trying to listen to each other they're just arguing um the moon, there's something hidden here, um, cancer, and um, I mean, the tower, that's divine intervention. It's unexpected, sudden change. Um, it could be that, that for some of you, I feel like this could be like a manifestation that you were impatient on. Um, sometimes that can result in tower moments. The High Priestess in the reverse, uh, somebody's keeping secrets. I don't know if this is you or if this is somebody else. Somebody could also be, you know, like, I feel like I had this with Pisces a couple weeks ago, too. It's like somebody could be dabbling in forces they shouldn't be dabbling in. Let me explain something to you. Um, let me actually just not explain something to you. Let me just tell you something. Don't dabble. Okay, don't do it. If you don't know what you are doing, don't do it. You're most likely just going to end up messing things up in your own life because you don't know what you're doing. So don't do it, okay? Just don't. That's it. That's all I have to say. Don't ask other people to do it either. Like just, you know, if you trust them, you know them, they like, that's a different thing, but like be very careful what you're doing don't mess with forces that you shouldn't be messing with okay that's it that's all i'm gonna say on that and we're gonna move past that so i'm hoping that none of you 
are part of this message, okay? Because we don't do that kind of stuff. That's not the energies we're messing with here. No. Make sure you have your shield up, okay? Just make sure you always have your shield up. The hanged man. Why is the hanged man here? The Knight of Swords. You know, this is in reverse and it fell right on top of the High Priestess. Um, why is the Knight of Swords in reverse here? The Ace of Wands. Okay. Um, why is the Ace of Wands here? The Page of Cups. All right, y'all. For some of you, it feels to me like you're trying to manifest communication or a connection or a new spark or something. Maybe possibly with a specific person. I don't really know. Um, it's not happening. Um, for some of you, I feel like it's not happening fast enough for you. And until the Tower moment is coming here. For the others of you, um, why is the Page of Cups here? The Four of Cups. Okay. Um, I don't like this energy. Um, if you're trying to manifest a connection with a specific person, I'm going to be very blunt right now. And first of all, like if this isn't the message for you, you may want to check one of your other placements. This feels very specific. Um, this might not resonate with everybody. This may be a video that doesn't upload and I have to re-record again, re-re-record because this is the second time I've done this. Um, this person's not interested. This person is focusing their energies on something else. Um, you can't do anything about that. Okay, it's called free will. <clears throat> For others of you, you are focusing too much energy on trying to manifest a new start with in love. And you're not focusing on something else that's trying to come in. And that's why there's a tower moment here. So let's see what this tower moment is about. Why is the tower here? Why is the King of Cups? I'm, I'm getting frustrated here a little bit. Okay, I don't know if this is, this could be somebody you're dealing with, y'all. Like, why is the King of Cups here? Because this is, this, this is you, you know, Pisces. This, this could be you. I mean, this is you. Whether this is being done towards you or this is something that you're doing, I don't know. Um, I don't like this. And um, if this continues, I might just like restart it to be to, in general because these are not the type of messages that I want. This isn't the energy that I want to be associated with at all. I don't like this. This feels like uh, love spell shit. Don't do that stuff. <clears throat> Why is the King of Cups here? Fucking sorry, guys. King of Wands, Queen of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Okay, some of you, this is a third party situation. Um, somebody could be married here. There's heartbreak for sure. This could be a divorce. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know, like, there's so many different, like, I don't like this. I can tell you that. I don't like this energy. I don't know if this is, like, it feels to me like, I don't know, there could have been, like, infidelity. Um, it feels to me like this King of Wands came between this King of Cups and this, and this Queen of Cups. You know? Why is the High Priestess in reverse here? 
Five of Cups. This sucks, man. I'm sorry, Pisces. Like, I don't know if this is you. I like. I'm like, I don't know. This feels really personal. Like, I really kind of feel like I shouldn't even be like saying too much about this because, like, I feel like there's. It's. I just feel like this is too personal. Um, there could have been like an instability with money here. I feel like some. I feel like to be honest with you, like somebody went outside of a connection. Um, probably in multiple ways. Uh, it could have. There could have been like starting off with like a. It could have been like an online thing. It could have been like a, a phone thing. It could have been a coworker. Like somebody went outside of the of a connection here. Uh, Um, all right, let's, let's see what the oracles say. Um, I'm going to get out of the tarot. I don't, I'm not really liking this energy. Um, so let's go into the oracles. Let's get some better energy here. See if we can get some, um, more information, more messages. Okay. So you have, you actually have two animal, um, uh, spirit guide messages. Um, you're the only sign that had two this weekend. And, uh, I think you needed two. Um, okay, so the first thing that I'm noticing on this, the animal is the raccoon, but I'm really like noticing the butterfly. And I actually saw a butterfly today. Um, and that for me is always a sign of transformation. Um, butterflies are, um, they could be like an actual sign for you. Butterflies are one of my, um, my animal signs, uh, my animal, I don't know what you would call it, guides or something, but yeah. It's like the three raccoons are just like watching this butterfly, you know, like they're like fascinated by it. It's like they're following the butterfly almost. We have um, inventor, decide on what you really want. Decide on what you really want. You have the ingenuity to claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. You have many roles and can juggle them well. That look is for whoever needs it, okay? I don't know who that is, but stop doing it. If it's happening to you, then get some freaking protection. Whatever that is for you. Oh, ladybug. I saw ladybugs, a bunch of ladybugs today too, actually. It's good luck. Good luck. You are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about being a loving and colorful you. You bless the world with color and good luck. Love yourself. Love yourself. Make sure that your intentions are pure. Okay, we have the unicorn affirmators. You have three of them. The first one is generosity. I give generously to those around me, no matter how much or how little I have. I know there is more than enough to go around and, I, and that the key is to allow it to keep going around without stopping. If I stop the flow, I'm like the one person in the stadium who doesn't do the wave. And then we have no need to do. I am exactly where I need to be, exactly when I need to be. There's nothing more I need to do. I mean, yes, there will always be laundry and taxes, but in terms of my life's path, I don't need to do anything because I am already here. I take a deep breath, relax, and trust, and then do laundry. All right, and then we have peacefulness. Oh, wait, did I show you that one? I don't think I showed you that one. And then peacefulness. I have a peaceful, tranquil, tranquil and untroubled heart. This is where I choose to spend my time. I can bring guests, but any person, thought, or event that brings drama or chaos is not invited. My heart is a special property and I'm going to keep it that way so we can all keep enjoying it and I can get my security deposit back. So for some of you, I feel like maybe you're thinking <clears throat> of like a getting even type of a thing. I don't recommend that. 
I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I'm not going to recommend that. Um, you have this really awesome best friend, okay? Her name's Karma. Yeah? You know her? Cool. Uh, she got your back. You don't got to worry about it. You do you, boo. You do you, okay? Don't worry about anybody else, okay? Just cut it off. Let it go. Feel the feelings. Heal it. Let it go. We have um, your Lightworker Oracle. Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? Hermit mode. All right, secret garden message. You have wildflower. Live an uncontrolled life, free to grow anywhere and bound by nothing. I like that. That's a good one to end on. All right, Pisces. I really hope that these messages helped you. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and a blessed full moon, or not full moon, new moon. <laughs> Pardon me. I, um, if they did, I just lost 16, 16. If the messages did resonate with you, then do hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe for more information. Um, please, 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 please put your shield up <laughs> at the very least. Don't dabble. Okay, if you're doing that, it's okay. No one's here to judge you. Just don't do that. Okay, just stop. <laughs> stop, <laughs> please. Um, if you're not dabbling, cut the people off. Let the emotions go, okay? Because negative emotions and negative energies and stuff, that kind of stuff can also like create disturbances and create chaos. It's like, also like, if you, like, I'm your energy around like your place, like clean your space. You know, the new moon, that's a great time to like, Clean your energies, clean your space. Like you can have energies trapped because your house is disorganized or you you have too much stuff. If you're holding on to things it's maybe like you should throw away, just throw them away. You know, like it it's energy is energy, you know? So like be aware of that and um protect yourself, you know? And make sure that everything that you're doing is with good intentions and with love okay and don't mess around with things you shouldn't mess around with okay that's all that's all. those are my messages okay i love you and i hope that you have a wonderful weekend and a great day or night or whenever you're tuning into this and i'll see you in the next one